notice requirements of the Open Public Meetings Act of the State of New Jersey have been satisfied by the inclusion of the date, time, and place of this meeting in a notice posted in the first floor main lobby of the Pitkin Education Center of Bergen Community College was mailed to the record and the Ridgewood News okay. and was filed with the clerk of the County of Bergen. Yes, Chairman. E. Carter Carston. Here. Dorothy Blakesley. Here. Phil Siarco. Here. James Demetrakis. Joanne Mecca. Here. Jermaine Ortiz. Here. Anthony Miller. James Napolitano. Michael Neglia. Here. Irene Ojo. Here. Nora Peck. Lorraine Derwin. Here. Thank you. Please join me in the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. States evaluation team led by Dr. Ken Enders on campus with us. Um, my, my fellow trustees, Dorothy Blakesley, Jermaine, and Michael were good enough to take time out of their schedule yesterday along with Kay and I. Uh, we met and had lunch with uh, Dr. Enders and had a very, very interesting uh, almost hour and a half conversation with him. And uh, last night, Kay, myself, and the uh, steering committee entertained the entire uh, visiting team uh, over dinner at Biagio's and uh, got a chance to answer whatever questions they might have, but also got a chance to talk to them and meet them. And uh, it was very interesting to learn about their institutions whether it be Harper's with Dr. Ender or with Caroline out in uh, Allegheny, Pennsylvania. And it was a, uh, a delightful evening, and it, I was uh, proud to be part of it. Thank you, Court. Thank you. The Secretary is in here this evening, so at the appropriate time, I will move the minutes later on. Treasurer. Uh, the Audit Finance Committee met last week. We looked at the College's financial position and review the resolutions that are attached. Thank you, Chairman. I want to start out uh, by thanking everyone um, who spent time this week really visiting uh, with the Middle States team. I heard a lot of positive comments and um, really expressions of their appreciation for faculty, staff, students, and board members who spent time sharing the great work that uh, you are all doing at the college. And so I wanted to say a special thank you to each one of you who took time out of your schedule uh, to share with uh, the Middle States team. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. they will be finishing up their work and they will be meeting uh, with us here to do their exit Report. And I hope um, you all will, as many of you as you can, will attend um, so that we can hear the great report uh, that will be coming forward. At this time, I would like to invite Bill Mullaney to introduce our faculty uh, member tonight who will be doing our assessment report. Chairman Karsten, members of the board, um, as always, we appreciate your interest in our assessment efforts. Um, during one of the sessions I was at, it came up that uh, the board does hear assessment reports uh, every, uh, every month, and the uh, visiting team was pleasantly surprised to hear such news. I don't think they hear that a lot. So uh, once again, thank you for um, the opportunity to share these with you. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce Professor Florence McGovern, who is a professor of accounting in the business department who is going to share uh, some of her assessment work in accounting. Bart? Thank you, Bill. Good evening, everybody. Oops. I'm a little vertically challenged here. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Um, just a 
little background on our accounting programs. We have two. We have the AAS in accounting, which is a two-year career program. The purpose of this is to prepare students for the related entry-level positions that they may obtain, whether in industry, public accounting, and on nonprofits, and other types of organizations. Um, according to the statistics that we have available, the 2014 New York, Newark, Pennsylvania Metropolitan Statistical Data, there's more regional openings in this program than there are completions. There's an average of, well, 7122 annual regional openings, and yet only 1,341 program completions. The trend analysis looking forward for the next 10 years also shows that demand in the target occupations is increasing as well. So there's definitely jobs out there for our students. In addition to that, we have a second program. This is our transfer program. This is our AS in accounting, and the purpose of that is to provide students with a quality program of curriculum and faculty to develop proficiency at the two-year level of college and also to prepare them, of course, for transfer to a four-year um, higher level of education. In fall of 2015, there were 314 majors in our AS program and 111 majors in our AAS accounting uh, major. However, in fall 2015, there were 660 AS business majors, all of which are required to take both financial as well as managerial accounting courses in our department. We decided that what we would do is we reviewed the program learning outcomes, of course. There were five program learning outcomes for the AAS career program, and then there were seven program learning outcomes for the AS program. Um, for this cycle, we decided that we would select and test one of the program learning outcomes that happened to be common in both of the programs. And that was students will be able to prepare financial statements in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles. The means of assessment was to prepare a statement of cash flows in the intermediate accounting course, which students in both programs take in their last semester here at BCC. As an accounting faculty, we met together. There's three full-time faculty members. Uh, we met, reviewed, and selected a statement of cash flow problems to test our program learning outcome. We have a software system called Wiley Plus that accompanies our textbook, which is really fantastic. Um, anyway, we reviewed that and we signed it to students in all the sections of the course during the first, the fifth week of the semester. Um, our desired results were we wanted to get at least a 75% uh, of our students to achieve a minimum of a 70 or higher on that assignment. So we had 46 students that were registered in the course when the problem was assigned. Of those 46, we had 39 who actually did the problem on time, and the average grade was an 88.79. We had three students that did the problem late, um, and the faculty member assigned a 90% grade penalty, bringing our overall average down to 82.98. Four students didn't do the problem at all. Of course, they received a zero. And even factoring in those incompletes, that brought us to an average for all of our students to 75.76. Our conclusion, we got together, we reviewed the results, and we concluded that the overall average score of 75.76 for 100% of the students, again, including the ones who did not complete the assignment, more than met our desired outcome. It was then decided that we would choose another program learning outcome for our next testing cycle. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. I want to um, do an advertisement right now, so I'm going to call up Lindsay Maurer, who is the director of our foundation
to tell us about our next up and coming event, which I know uh, Trustee Chiarco will also talk about in his report. You bet. Hi everyone, that was a surprise, but welcome surprise. I want to let everybody know about our new Monte Carlo night. Uh, we've taken our casino night and our, uh, marketing it as our new signature event. And we designed it to be called Club Monte Carlo. This year it's going to be a 1940s, 50s supper club event at the Venetian. And instead of just making it a casino night, we're trying to appeal to a, a vast different quality of folks. So you're going to walk in on a red carpet coming in to the event. We're going to have not only the casino area to a side, but we're also going to have a, a swing band that's known for its excitement of throwing instruments around. And then we're also going to have a, uh, a floor show, very much in the tradition of the, the dinner clubs. We're also going to have a woman walking around with an old-fashioned camera taking pictures. We'll have a little cigar lounge outside for um, our patrons who like to have a little bit of a smoke as well. Uh, we're also changing the event in the respect of this year we decided to go with honorary uh, chairs for our event, hoping that they will bring in their lists as well and their constituency. We're also highlighting uh, one of our programs this year, which is Turning Point. Uh, it's very exciting, so the, the proceeds from the event will not only go into our general scholarship funds with the foundation, but also to Turning Point. And with that, we were able to get some really fantastic honorary chairs. We have Jim Seabury from the county. We also have Dr. Manny Alvarez from Hackensack, who is also on Fox News. And then we also, uh, to try to get some media coverage as well, have Dolores Catania, who is our newest uh, New Jersey Housewife cast member. <laughs> so we're trying to, to bring in lots of different folks. We, um, we brought in some invitations today and hope that uh, we'll see you all there. Thank, Thank you, you, Lindsay. And that concludes my report. Now I will go to committees. Board and Finance. Board and Finance, Dr. Uh, approved, AF1 through AF11. Any word on school that's going to get? Uh, Not yet. Uh, hopefully it'll be good news one of these days. Education and student affairs. Um, the committee met and we're recommending ESA 1 through 4. Bill? Okay. Foundation. Lindsay has done an outstanding job at this event. Uh, she calls it a return. Actually, we are working hard <coughs> on maybe getting Humphrey Bogart to uh, appear at the event along with Ingrid uh, because the whole feel I think we're trying to create in it is sort of a Casablanca evening. The one thing you didn't hear her say, there's not going to be a lot of speeches. It's going to be a fun evening and I encourage every one of us to get there. As part of that evening, we also have our Super 50-50 raffle. Okay, now I don't want to brag, but I do have a habit of selling winning tickets <laughs> to this raffle. So if you need any tickets, you know where to come and, and get them. On other news, uh, one of the other things about Monte Carlo night is currently we have some $50,000 committed to the evening, and we're just getting started. The date, again, is March the 30th, the end of this month. On our spring scholarship application process, uh, we've always had to work awfully hard to get applicants, et cetera. Well, it seems that we've kind of gotten over that hump because this year we have currently 800 applicants for this round of scholarships. Far and away are our highest count ever. And uh, the scholarship committee now will quickly begin to review the applicants with scholars to be chosen by the end of this month. Again, understand, this is our fundraiser. Monte Carlo night this year is our fundraiser. We don't have any, uh, there's no medallion dinner. This is it. So please, 
Uh, do your best to bring family, friends, uh, supporters to, uh, to the event. It's going to be a, uh, a real fun evening. Thank you, Carter. Thank you. Personnel? Uh, personnel met Carter. And we recommend approval of P1 through P10. Site and facilities. Uh, facilities met and offer SF1 and SF2. Strategic planning initiatives. Uh, strategic planning, uh, again, uh, as per my previous report, we do have our Middle States team on campus. We spent time with them last night. Uh, they have been diligent in their uh, investigations and their evaluations. And uh, our team is very, very eager to hear what they have to say uh, tomorrow. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Phil, I think you've run out of things to say. Yes. <laughs> I just want to point out that you, you reported for personnel because Jim Napolitano is not here. So he doesn't have all those jobs, but he's got a lot of them. All right. Uh, again, I don't think you can report on the liaison to New Jersey Council of County Colleges, Phil, because I don't think you were there. Phil, did you hear that? What's that? I don't think you can report on liaison to Jersey, New Jersey Council of County Colleges. I don't think you were there. No, I, maybe on the Florida Council of uh, <laughs> Colleges. Uh, Tony Miller isn't here, so we will not have a report. Uh, but we do have our alumni trustee, right? Thank you, Chairman, Dr. Walter, members of the board. Um, my report is the new printing procedure team met, and everything seems to be moving moving smoothly. Um, however, this has raised another important problem, um, the cost of textbooks. So the committee is working closely to figure out a solution for this problem. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I don't have a report, but I would like to say that, regretfully, I cannot attend the casino night because that's Easter week. And going to Florida with my family um, minor, on Thursday on. Minor point. <laughs> minor. The plans are made and the flight is booked, unfortunately, a long time ago. All right. Uh, is there any, uh, at this point, unfinished business? If not, uh, I will open to the public. Would the public like to comment? Do I have any questions? God bless. Professor Brent Chapman, Chemistry. Um, last month I came and spoke before you and I was, shall we say, exceptionally harsh because a certain situation had touched a nerve with me. However, that does not excuse my language and I apologize both to the board, to the, to the audience, and to the faculty who elected me to represent them. That reflected badly on them and badly, badly upon me. Uh, thank you. Your, accepted, your apology is accepted. Thank you. Anyone else wish to be heard? Uh, if not, I'll entertain a motion to close to the public at this time. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. uh, I will move at this point the minutes of February 2nd, 2016. Is there a second? I'll move. All in favor? Aye. Aye. On the consent agenda, we have AF1 through 11, ESA 1 through 4, personnel P1 through 10, site facilities 1 and 2. Is there a motion on the consent agenda? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, we have no business to <coughs> go into executive session 4. Uh, new business again or open to the public? Is there a motion to open to the public? Moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Anyone in the public wish to be heard? If not, I'll entertain a motion to close. Moved. And um, at this point, I wish everybody happy holidays for uh, Passover and Easter. And uh, with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? Nobody against that. All right, fast. Well, this